Hello and welcome. I'm Louise Herbert and I'm Head of Marketing for Europe and North America for FSS Technologies. And I'm here today with my colleague, Craig Brown, who we're going to be in conversation with me specifically around the secure customer authentication um, and everything that's happening around that here in Europe. But before we do so, could I ask you, Craig, just to give a quick overview of FSS in Europe and our, our activities here? Yes, yes. Thanks, Louise. So FSS is a well-established company, payment technology business with a 30-year pedigree, global footprint. We've been active in Europe for the past six years and had a double-digit growth for each of those six years. So it's a strong business at this stage. Um, the open banking um, and the proliferation of all of the new players in the European market has provided a great opportunity for us for growth. And we've had a two-pronged approach in, in dealing with this in the market. On the one hand, we've targeted the well-established uh, large banks and processors uh, we appreciate the, the scalability and the range of solutions that we offer at FSS. And on the other hand, we have been working with new fintechs, neobanks, uh, who are looking for proven solutions around issuing and acquiring mobile payments, um, digital banking, and they're looking for a more agile, flexible and competitive approach. So that's really our sweet spot in, in the market. Mm, excellent. So you mentioned already open banking, and obviously Europe is is the is the the, the place for that. Um, and obviously that's been driven through the Payment Services Directive. But apart, you know, the, the, one of the key parts of that has been around um, secure customer authentication. So the whole SCA, as it's known. Um, how, in your view, do you think the processors and banks are, are gearing up for this over here? Yes. Well, of course the banks. And processes have been working on this for quite a long time, um, already over several years with fits and starts. They've been uh, advancing in this area. The, um, the prompt provided by the second payment directive and the SCA mandates has been key. So, of course, being mandated, that's been uh, the, the most important push. And the circumstances... Uh, over the last couple of years in particular, have accelerated uh, these changes where we've had uh, a growth in fraud, in online um, fraud in particular. Um, in, during the COVID period, we've had an increase in online transactions, of course, and uh, aligned with that, uh, associated with that, there's been an increase in card not present fraud um, an acceleration over the last two years in particular, and um, the banks have addressed this fraud as it's come up and recognized the need to really react uh, um, more promptly as the impact of the fraud has been felt over the last couple of years. Mm. And, and obviously, FSS has been in the business for a long time around the whole customer authentication, and but it has a specific offering, um, 3D Secure. Um, could you talk to us a little bit about what, what is that offering and you know, what are some of the business models that it, 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 uh, it helps with? Yes, well, FSS has already for several years offered uh, a 3D Secure and ACS service to both issuers and acquirers. We've got globally 23 customers at this stage. We've processed above 120 million transactions and experienced a very low decline rate. So we've already got significant experience so, uh, over the past number of years. Um, in the last two years in Europe, as, we, as we've rolled out the service to our European customers, uh, we focused on our hosted offering. We offer both a, a licensed solution and a, a hosted platform, hosted solution. And our hosted solution has been particularly popular amongst our European customers because it offers a fairly turnkey uh, approach to this, you know, the uh, requirement to remain compliant with the 3D secure mandates. Uh, has been a moving target. It's quite complex to remain compliant and the rules keep changing. So by signing up to a hosted service, the customers receive the reassurance of remaining compliant 
uh, FSS assumes the responsibility for all the ongoing upgrades and certifications and the inevitably evolving rules and uh, enables the customers to get on with the core of their business. Um, so uh, in essence, we offer a, a quick and easy onboarding process. It's got fairly flexible and competitive uh, commercial models. It's fully uh, 2.2 certified. Uh, the ongoing compliance will ensure that we re remain compliant and overall uh, the experience of a, a service which is operating at scale with very low decline rates has proven very attractive to our customers. Mm, well, it sounds like a great proposition. And it sounds also, you've mentioned mandates, compliance, everything else. Um, is, there, is there something that we can take from the European perspective in terms of how is this going to play out? What's going to be the impact, do you think, from our learnings here to other regions out in the world? Yeah, well, obviously, Europe has led the way uh, globally um, in the rollout of um, uh, 3D Secure and um, in particular driven by the mandates. Uh, other regions, however, increasingly are following and we've had a lot of interest uh, from our customers in other regions looking to um, learn from our experience here in Europe. Um, Importantly, the, the business case with the increase of card not present fraud globally, where fraud is moving from the regions where 3D Secure has been introduced, like Europe, mm. we're move, moving to the regions where uh, they don't have such uh, security in place, um, the pressure is on in those regions and timing is uh, key. Time is of the essence. And it's uh, very important that uh, a fairly structured approach is taken to the planning and the rollout. Um, we've learned from this in Europe, where in the beginning it was a bit patchy and ad hoc, uh, but over time we've seen a more um, structured and um, consistent approach across the board from both issuers and acquirers and also merchants, bringing merchants to the table as early as possible to ensure that we get a smooth rollout as we try and bring all of the market with us at the same time. I think that's been a key learning here in Europe. We've learned as we've gone along uh, with the upgrade to 2.1 and then 2.2, the upgrade to biometric. We've seen that a flexible approach um, specific to the market to learn uh, from uh, how best to roll it out. And I'm sure that will be the case in other regions. Um, but overall, it's been seen as a key part of the need for the development of anti-fraud measures, the need to be future-proof, and the need to be ready to support the continual cycle of upgrades and um, reaction to, to any changes that happen in the fraud pattern. That's been, I think, key to ensuring a sex successful rollout. So quite a lot there then. So if I just sum that up, it sounds like bringing the right people to the table, make sure that time, time is of the essence, do it timely in a timely manner, and make sure that technically everything is future proofed. So uh, precisely, so and choose the right partner for that. And choose the right partner for it. Exactly, exactly. So I've very much enjoyed hearing your, your views on this. So thank you very much, Craig. And, uh, and I hope uh, everybody here watching the video can also learn things from the uh, 3D Secure experience here in Europe. Thank you, thank Greg. You. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.